Top 10 Richest Women in Nigeria Nigeria, Africa's most populous black country, is recognized for its colorful and friendly culture, which can be observed in a number of artistic forms. Africa's fashion, technical and artistic powerhouses, as well as the world's second largest film industry, are all found here. It's intriguing to learn who the wealthiest people in Nigeria are at any given time, and it's even more fascinating to know which women have the highest net worth in Nigeria right now, given that the list is still dominated by males. These ladies of riches have it all, a successful company given high-end autos and multiple mansions. The bulk of them, like their male counterparts, made money in the oil and gas business and however, some made more money in fashion, real estate, food commodities, in banking and finance. Others began with nothing and now have enterprises with millions of employees and yearly sales in the billions of Naira. Due to how successful they have been in their respective sectors, most of them have been worldwide recognized and decorated with multiple honors. The kids you cannot easily come across. Indeed, they are the perfect examples of the expression, what a guy can do, a woman does better. What separated these ladies was their capacity to use, invest and build their fortune across several enterprises, rather than the ability to make money, which everybody can do. As a consequence of this, this article will focus on the top 10 wealthiest women in Nigeria in 2022, as well as provide an estimate of their total fortune. Welcome to Think Rich Africa, the community which brings to you entrepreneurial, business and personal development content to inform, motivate and inspire you. We also want to introduce you to our special African development playlist because we strongly believe that entrepreneurship rather than global PT is the key to Africa's growth and development. So if you are African and you aren't subscribed to our community, you're missing out. Ten, Diazani Alison Madweke. Diazani, the first woman to ever hold the position of president of the Organization of the Petroleum Exporting Countries, Alison Madweke, is married to a retired admiral and has a total of six children. Between the years 2007 and 2015, she served as the Minister of Mines and Steel Development, as well as Minister of Transportation and the Minister of Petroleum Resources. Madweke started out her professional life at Shell Petroleum Development Corporation where she was employed both in operations of the estate and as an architectural consultant in the Lagos office. During this time, she was based in Nigeria. Her first promotion came in 1997 when she was given the position of head of civil infrastructures. Subsequently, she was given the position of head of the corporate issues and crisis management units. After completing her studies for an MBA at Cambridge, she was given the position of lead joint ventures representation advisor in the year 2004. She has a net worth of $500 million and is a politician. 9. Gozi Okonjo Iwiala Nigerian businesswoman Gozi Okonjo Iwiala was born on June 13, 1954, in Ogwashi Uku, Delta State. She is married to Ikemba Iwiala, who is also a member of the Iwiala family. She is a mother to four kids. In 1976, she graduated from the Harvard University with a bachelor's degree in economics, and in 1981, she received a doctorate in economics from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Nigerian economist, business consultant, politician, an expert in international development, Ngozi Okonjo is also a specialist in international development. She had previously served as both the director of the World Bank and the Minister of Finance of Nigeria. In addition to being a motivational speaker and author, she is also a prominent philanthropist who is known for her work with women. With a total wealth of $550 million, Ngozi Okonjo ranks ninth on the list of the wealthiest women in Nigeria. 8. Stella Odua Stella Odua, a successful Nigerian businesswoman, entrepreneur and investor, was born on January 5, 1962 in Obara, which is located in the state of Anambra. Her husband is Chris Ogiamoni. She studied in the United States and received a Bachelor of Science degree in Accounting as well as a Master of Science degree in Business Administration. Stella Odua founded the Sea Petroleum and Gas Company Limited in 1992. The company is a Nigerian independent marketer of petroleum products and Odua serves as both the company's chairman and CEO at the present time. She served as Nigeria's Minister of Aviation before becoming a senator in the country. Stella Odua is currently the eighth richest woman in Nigeria, according to a net worth of $600 million. 
she is one of the few women in Nigerian politics who has been able to achieve success. Seven Mo Abudu Mosunmola Abudu, also known simply as Mo Abudu, is a successful entrepreneur who hails from Nigeria. On September 11, 1964, she was living in the United Kingdom, where she had spent the majority of her formative years, when she got married to Tokumbo Abudu, and they had two children. She attended the University of Westminster to earn her master's degree in human resource management and graduated with honors. As soon as Mo Abudu arrived in Nigeria, she was offered the position as the head of the human resources department at ExxonMobil Nigeria which is one of the most important oil companies in the country. Mo Abudu was inspired to fight with Judas and advance human equality since as a child and young adult, she was subjected to bigotry because she was a black woman. Because of what she went through, she is one of the few African women who have made a significant contribution as a direct result of this event. Mo Abudu has a lot of interest in a wide array of businesses such as hotels, companies and deals with human resources and the media. Due to the fact that she recently signed a contract with Netflix worth many millions of dollars, she is considered to be one of the wealthiest media figures in both Nigeria and Africa. Forbes ranked Mo Abudu as the seventh richest woman in Nigeria in 2022 and her net worth was estimated at $650 million at that time. Mo Abudu is known for her charitable works. Six. Bimbo Alase Yoruba businesswoman Bimbo Alase, who was born in 1962 and married the late Kunle Arawole, has broken through previously impenetrable boundaries in Nigeria and beyond. Her husband Kunle Arawole passed away in 2011. She is a Nigerian businesswoman who is also an entrepreneur and an investor. Leather World is led by her as both its chairman and its CEO. Both Pitman College and the Regent Academy of Design and Fine Arts in London were among her educational institutions of choice. A postgraduate certificate in interior design from the London Design School is another of one of her accomplishments. In Nigeria, she has established a reputation for producing high-end furniture under the brand name Leather World. In the months leading up to the beginning of her business in June 1994, she ran a gift shop and beauty saloon in the Lagos neighborhood of her papa under the name Glamour. Bimbo Alase is currently the sixth richest woman in Nigeria with a net worth of $750 million. Number 5. Stella Okoli Stella Chinlewo Okoli, more commonly referred to as Stella Okoli, was born in Kano State in 1944. Stella Okoli is well known as an entrepreneur, philanthropist and pharmacist in addition to being a wealthy woman. She was married to the late barrister Christopher Okoli and the two of them had three children together. She began her career by taking jobs in the pharmaceutical industry where she remained for a number of years before launching her own company using the knowledge and experience she earned there. Her pharmaceutical business Emzo Chemist Limited began by purchasing and reselling already made drugs before transitioning into the production of their own pharmaceuticals. Within a time span of fewer than three years, the company had positioned itself as a leading pharmaceutical producer in the western region with the Emzo Paracetamol brand serving as the company's flagship product. Stella Okoli is one of the few Nigerians who has been recognized globally for efforts to provide adequate healthcare in the country through the products that her company manufactures, which are frequently recommended even outside of Nigeria. These efforts have led her to being one of the few Nigerians to receive this recognition. She is also mainly interested in the money, but her company is putting a lot of effort to make it possible for Nigerians to purchase drugs at prices that are much cheaper. With the goal of promoting excellent health throughout the country, her past of helping others has helped her amass a network of $800 million, which places her in the top 5 of the richest women in Nigeria. Four, Fifi Ejindu. Born in 1962 in the city of Ibadan, Fifi Ejindu, also known as Ofyong Ekanem Ejindu, is a successful businesswoman in the country of Nigeria. She is the wife of Amechi Ejindu and the two of them share a son together. She graduated from Pratt Institute, a renowned design school located in Brooklyn, New York, in 1983 with a Bachelor of Architectural degree, making her one of the first African women to achieve a bachelor's degree in architecture from that institution. After receiving her undergraduate degree from Pratt Institute, she attended the Massachusetts Institute of Technology for a number of classes before continuing her education at Pratt Institute to earn her master's degree in urban planning before relocating to Nigeria. In addition to being an architect and a philanthropist, 
Fifi Ejindo is the person who established Starkest Limited. Real estate, building and design and potential investment opportunities are the three facets that are covered by Starcrest, which is accountable for a portion of the foreign investments that the country receives. Organizations all around the country are responsible for the management of a large number of residential and industrial villas. Fifi Ejindo holds the position of fourth wealthiest woman in Nigeria thanks to her net worth of $850 million. Three, Daisy Danjuma. Daisy Danjuma was born on August 6, 1952 in Benin City, which is located in Edo State, Nigeria. She is currently married to Theophilus Danjuma, a Nigerian millionaire. She attended Amadou Bello University in Nazaria and received a Bachelor of Laws degree in 1976. In 2003, she was elected to the Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, where she represented Edo South until 2007. At the moment, she holds the position of Executive Vice Chairman at South Atlantic. She is from Nigeria and works in the business world as an investor and entrepreneur. She currently holds the positions of Vice Chairman and Managing Director of Atlantic Petroleum. In the year 2022, Daisy Danjuma is the third richest woman in Nigeria, according to a net worth of $900 million. Two, Haija Bola Shagaya. Haija Bola Shagaya is a private person who doesn't like to talk about her wealth. She's a mother of six and has been married to Alaji Shagaya for many years. She attended Amadou Bello University in Zaria and Armstrong College in California in order to earn her bachelor's degree from both institutions. She began her professional life working in the audit department of the Central Bank of Nigeria before transitioning into commercial activities in 1983. She began with the importation and distribution of photographic materials which became her first significant source of wealth, and she was instrumental in bringing the Konica brand to the markets of Nigeria and West Africa. She has been a member of the board of directors at Unity Bank PLC for the past eight years, and she's also a member of the Nepal Business Group Nigeria. She was only recently established. Aija Bola Shakaya serves as the chief executive officer of one of the most successful base. Number one, Folorun Sho Alakija. A successful Nigerian entrepreneur who is married to Mr. Modupe Alakija and has four boys with them, Valorin Shaw is the richest person on this list. She attended Pittman Central College in London and received a degree in Secretarial Studies there. She began a professional life working as an executive secretary for Sijuadi Enterprises in Lagos State. After 12 years working in the banking industry as an executive secretary, she eventually rose through the ranks to become the head of corporate affairs for the company she worked for. Later in life, she uncovered her passion in fashion design with a particular concentration on haute couture. After the tremendous success of her fashion company, she expanded into other industries, the most lucrative of which being the oil industry. She has now become an oil magnate while still maintaining her family's position as a controlling shareholder in the company. Additionally, Folorun Shaw Lakija holds the position of Group Managing Director for the roles of Sharon Group. This role encompasses both the roles of Sharon Print and Promotions Limited and the roles of Sharon Foundation. The latter organization provides educational opportunities and professional recognition to widows and orphans. In addition, she has a Mercedes Benz that is valued at $20 million. In addition to her considerable wealth, Mrs. Alakija is known for her selflessness and spirituality with which she lives her life. Alakija was ranked as the 87th most powerful woman in the world by Forbes in 2015. This place tied directly after Ngozi Okonjo Iwiala. Alakija is the richest lady in Nigeria and the second richest woman in all of Africa according to a net worth of $1 billion. There are a lot of strong women in Nigeria, like Alakija, who have refused to give up despite the opposition they have faced along the way in order to pave the way for other women to be seen as contributors to the expansion of the global economy and not just as child bearers. Nigeria is fortunate to have such women. Thank you for watching. If you love this video, don't forget to hit the like button. If this video made you believe you can also be wealthy and you can pursue your dreams, let us know in the comment section. Subscribe and turn on notifications for more amazing content. Help our channel grow.